that another alarming consequence of President Obama's executive amnesty right in time for tax season, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is another loophole, another loophole in the tax code. It's going to allow illegal immigrants to immediately receive amnesty bonuses. Those with deferred status may be able to receive the earned income tax credit. And this is, you know, someone we're talking about who is here unlawfully, mind you, because Congress hasn't passed a, a re immigration reform that the president approves of just yet, and he hasn't actually started enforcing any reform. So these people are still here unlawfully, but they could be able to file an amended tax return for up to the last three tax years, possibly receiving upwards of $24,000 in tax credits. Now, this discovery was made by Eileen O'Connor. She's a tax lawyer and the former head of the tax division of the U.S. Department of Justice. She says the law makes a Social Security number a requirement of eligibility to receive the earned income credit. When a person receives a Social Security number, he can then file amended returns to claim the credit for the three preceding years during which he did not. And because of a, an old law in 1999, something was passed, that would allow people to retroactively claim credits when once they re receive a social security number. So obviously some puzzling logic there because they didn't qualify for the preceding years, but now they will because of this loophole. Senator Sass, along with Senator Ron Johnson, have released statements regarding these amnesty bonuses, basically saying by offering illegal aliens new payments under the earned income tax credit, the IRS may encourage fraud among those who might claim children living in other countries, and the administration could blow open the doors for fraud with these amnesty bonuses of more than $24,000 to those who receive deferred actions. So that's $24,000 per person who might figure out how to retroactively claim these credits. They say most notably, Qualified applicants for the president's programs can now claim thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars uh, from this, but additionally, the additional child tax credit. Now, you'll recall we've reported on this before, but these two programs were responsible for $21 billion in improper payments, fraudulent payments, and claims in 2013 alone. So, of course, that's all taxpayer money that was just, whoop, oh, Sorry, that you didn't deserve that. And that just infuriates me because they also don't have to pay for the Obamacare penalty as well. But you can bet they'll come after you just like they did me for $100.